Good morning. It is uh, ten past nine on Tuesday the 5th of November. I still have a migraine. But it's time for today in my boo journal. We need light. That's better. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We're not doing that. That was last month. We're doing this month. I'm with it, I promise. Kind of. Right, um, I did do my night care. We had a horrible night with the animals last night for some unknown reason. I went to bed early and my son got home from wrestling. I said to him, when you get home, um, or if you know before you go to bed could you make sure the dog and everybody's been you know the dog and the cat have both been out so he said yeah yeah that's fine and i know he let the dog out because she went into his room afterwards instead of coming back into mine which is fine um and then i heard him get up to let her out about half past four and then she refused to come back upstairs and he's there going will you please come sit down and all this stuff. and she's like ignoring him so he lost his rag with her and, and left her downstairs in the end because she doesn't like to be left either upstairs or downstairs and she can't see very well so doing the stairs in the dark can sometimes be a bit of a problem she's all right coming down because there's a street light right outside the front door but she's not so good going back up but he left it there in the end so i was just like do you know what i agree with him <coughs> and then i got up uh a six because the cat was yowling to go out so i came down let her out and um dog was still downstairs sulking so i uh i left her went back upstairs for sort of half an hour until my alarm went off and then i got up and um yeah came down and the dog was acting like she hadn't peed for 24 hours do you know what i mean she's bouncing around the house like a complete and total fucking loon so i let her out and made myself a drink and then went up to get Darren up. He had a bad night. He was in my bed all night. And um, we gets up, comes out, has breakfast and gives the dog a drink and all that lot. Went up to brush teeth. And as I'm brushing teeth, I happened to look down into the bathtub. And I thought, well, that looks suspiciously not white. And the cat had taken a piss in the bathtub. Not anywhere near the plug. She'd gone right up the other end. So there's this long streak of yellow all the way down. The... So guess what I was doing this morning when I should have been getting Daryl ready for school? I was cleaning the fucking bath out. So all that yowling at six o'clock. I need to go out. I need to go out. She fucking didn't because she'd already been in the bathtub. And then Daryl was awake for a period last night. He didn't have a very good night at all. I ended up going to bed with him because he couldn't get himself off to sleep for some reason. He was a bit restless and a bit upset and I had this migraine last night that you know you know guys know about and it was just like you know what I said oh, I'm gonna get in bed you come get in my bed and it was gone nine o'clock before he finally fell asleep which is late on a school night I don't like him going to sleep that late and then he was awake throughout the night as well and I was like what are you doing and he said, I'm sleeping. And I was like, well, you're not. Because you're fidgeting and you're making loads of noise and you're doing my fucking head in. Go to sleep. I am sleeping, he said. I didn't actually feel the difference last night. So I didn't do much yesterday. I did, however, in the middle of the night, put some posts up, I think. I've got a vague memory of doing it. Yes, I did. Finished weekly and the new weekly. So I'm going to do it with this pen. I'm not sure what time I did it. And today I'm going to post the October chore tracker. Cool, cool. Right, so I missed April's. Did April go live last night? I, do you know, I haven't even looked whether she did a live last night. I've just... What was the live about? Could somebody please tell me? Right. And that was about it, wasn't it? Where are we up to? We are up to here. I did journal before I went to bed. Yeah, every time I so much as like leave the room, the dog whines and it's just doing my head in. She's not normally a needy type dog, you know. Okay, 
so I have day face cream on. Bullet card. I don't like that card. Makes me really uncomfortable, that card. This card is talking about heartbreak. And you can see the swords are stab stabbing into the heart. Um, there's a journal on the bed, the ink's been spilled, it's raining, it's windy, there's a black crow or raven outside, the bed is empty, and this person's heart is broken. It's just not, you know, I can't really sort of expand on that, this person's heart is broken, they are at a really, really low point in their lives. Normally, I would pull another card to go with this, but I know who this card is talking about, and I, I, uh, but to go with it is it, I don't feel is appropriate at the moment. There is always a but, isn't there? There is a you know, life does go on, and you know, um, you've got friends or family, or you know, but they can feel like empty platitudes when you are here in this place and it does feel like an empty platitude but heartbreak loneliness despair feeling completely bereft Not doing anything. I haven't done my measurements I know now I slept a lot due to the headache But I still feel like crap. I hate these multiple day migraines. I hate them. I've got things to do and I can't even focus, let alone do things. <laughs> and the thing is, this keeps on tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to do my life tomorrow either. My back feels a bit better. Although I did have to have medication throughout the night because my back was giving me what for. Right, now, I went to bed. quite early I did not sleep until about 10 and then I woke up at 6 45 but I was up and down up and down up and down throughout the night what with one thing and another so I was awake for a bit then and then again then so and I was awake throughout the night so I'm gonna put that it, it was a bad night again even though that says it was 85% good, well it wasn't because this also thinks that I went to sleep before 9 o'clock and I didn't because I was awake when Alex got home at just gone 9 and he came and talked to me for a little bit about last night's wrestling. The linen laundry have been done. I sort of they're easy to do because I do the loo after I've cleaned my teeth and then I bring the laundry as I come down the stairs so it's it's kind of one of those things that's just natural for me to do now I've cleaned the bath but it's not due to be done till Thursday and so I guess that's an extra <laughs> Okay, so I need to take a picture of my October chore tracker. Did I not do that already? I thought I'd done that. Yeah. I've done the October chore tracker. I posted that like two days ago. So, so far, oh, that's the chore tracker, not square tracker. Gotcha. Right, so let's take that picture then. There we go. That is done. I do really want to get into the habit. Oh, that's nice. 
of posting like later in my day because pictures get noticed more although somebody's already already commented on it that's so awesome plan with fell I love this spread so much wow it hasn't even been up a minute there you go awesome I don't know who plan with fell is but if you watch <laughs> shout out to you <laughs> okay so let's jump yeah I'm go I th I'm thinking I'm gonna have to put this in its own book because it is getting chunky licious okay It is the 5th. I'm just double checking that because you know what I'm like. The weather is better today. That little flash of sunshine yesterday, that was all we had. The one where that was like appeared while I was filming, that was literally it. The rest of the day it just bucketed down all fucking day. It was horrible. Um, right, weather. Mm, see that doesn't say it's gonna rain in fact it says the sun's gonna come up before it goes down but it doesn't look like that it looks there's a big excuse me black rain clouds over the dudes and dudettes right okay so let's put my dog is snoring that's pretty usual okay so I'm gonna put a rain cloud there And a little one there. I must sketch in some dark there. Wait, come back. So we've got a high of 11 and a low of 5. Fuck, that's cold. The sunrise was at 2 minutes past 7. The sunset is at 4.34 pm. Okay. Okay, the word for today is pilgrims. Oh my. I just get notification on, on, on my post already. That's cool. Let's see if I can spell this right. Pilgrim. That looks right to me. But then again, so did barrels, and that's got two fucking L's in it. <laughs> and for anybody who goes, oh, you're cheating, where does it say that you can't use a stencil? And that's like saying, oh, you don't make your own paints, so you're cheating. I did actually have someone say that to me once. Oh, that's cheating because you used a stencil to draw the circle. What? Fuck off. Arse. I think I'm going to do these all different colours to keep with the sort of rainbow that I did above. I know it's not rainbowy because it's got a chocolate background, but you know, there was too much blue on it with the blue next, you know. So, and they don't have backgrounds, so I just thought I would chuck a background in. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that to um, dry off and I'm gonna go and get on with my day. Um, I'll be back for the evening edition. I don't know what I'm going to get done, if anything, today. I feel quite uh again, but, you know, I've got shit to do. So, which is depressing. But there we go. Right. 
I hope you have a good day and I'll see you tonight. Bye. Welcome back. It's the evening edition. It's 8 p.m. Um, I'm feeling a bit better. My head's not quite so <laughs> like how you feel after you come out of a nightclub or a discotheque, depending on how old you are. Um, it feels more like I've not slept for three days. I did have a productive afternoon though. Didn't get any housework done, but that's beside the point. Um, I was watching a video a couple of days ago by Emma Lou. I believe it was and she had these fantastic little ephemera books now i've been meaning for ages to make an ephemera book after watching 49 dragonflies and i just haven't gotten around to it because i just i just don't seem to find the time but she had these adorable look and i said where the hell did you get those so she still got them from muji so i went and she said, they were only 60p i was like this is fucking brilliant so i goes on the muji website and i hunted about it. i couldn't find it and then i thought hang on a minute and i went back and checked her video again and what she'd actually ordered was one of these. It's a credit card holder. Yeah, that's all it is. It's a credit card holder. So I bought four because they were on offer, you know, and um, I filled one up. Now, you remember those little um, really, use really useful boxes that I sent flying the other week? Yeah, that I've got, yeah. I've emptied all of those out. The only thing that is now in there are my little bits of, like, um, my eyelets for my chomper thing. Um, I'm going to put things like my brads in them, you know, so that they're not in bags all over the bloody place. Stuff like that can go in there. And in here, all of that ephemera went in here. Now, I've still got a load of the bigger stuff that wouldn't fit in those little boxes. These these things aren't much bigger but it also means that everything I don't have to pull out those little different boxes it's all here so in this one I've got like typewriter type stuff and a couple, a couple of women she's obviously some kind of type typist and all that lot um, I've got here clocks and office type stuff there's a stapler and a couple of other little bits and then there was this weird freaky heart and I was like I don't really know where else to put that so that's in there on its own then over here i've got some sort of um oh these are all succulents i believe in this one and then i've got a load of different vellum labels in these two some little bird type things in there and then i these are some words that i downloaded um and their dictionary meanings now i really wish that i'd actually printed those up onto coffee dye paper because it would have looked a lot better but that's just never mind uh die cut flowers i think these are actually stickers some more flowers these are more sort of succulent type ones but they're just not venom that was that white pack of right ball labels that i got this is all to do with crafts knitting sewing handmade stuff in there days of the week numbers of the month um anything with arrows on it for some reason that seemed to be quite popular this is all to do with um cups with other things so like cups on a library book and that's a dunking donuts cup we don't have dunking donuts here in the uk so that's actually pointless to me this is cut out flowers and other die cut flowers um, this is everything to do with weddings this one this is cups with food this is cups with flowers and this is just cups on its own although there is a book in that one but never mind this is cameras camera die cuts and i have so many i had to split it over three need to use some of those this is home type stickers this was to do with crafting although i suppose i could put that one in with this happiness is homemade really which would clear me up another another box which i, I might do that actually this is still a work in progress um this is all to do with babies and it seems to be mainly baby girls this is a little set of banners and um uh, what do you call them yeah flags and banners and all that kind of thing this was a set of letters that make up hello and then some numbers and circles these are stamps with animals on stamps with flowers on um vellum posted stamp type things i just cut it down to fit in here compasses and modes of transport in there mobile phones in there um summer so there's ice creams there's um some money there's you know a couple of other different bits of bobs travels so the suitcases passports and other things 
referencing other places so like when you see big ben you think of london or telephone boxes you think of london i've got the Eiffel tower uh the metro uh the leaning tower of pizza i think the big thing in there is the taj mahal uh this is some more labels a couple of playing cards and some vintage style labels a few more labels here um this is vellum leafy type sort of things these are more flowery type things that's mushrooms because I it turned out I had quite a lot of those which I wish I'd known about that yesterday when I was doing the challenge this is smaller um white labels and that's it I've still got loads of room in here so this is freaking awesome that this holds so much you know and I mean I have bulked it out quite a bit like this here has got quite a lot in it but it's only because they're so small now they don't hold in brilliantly in some of them but you know it's just like well when I put it away I store it that way and then all the ephemera drops down to the ends of the pockets which means that then it shouldn't fall out this was an envelope of vellum stickers that I got from your creative studio and I just tucked that in there like that now I'm thinking what I could do is make something roughly about the same size because I actually ordered several of these now I could have a go at seeing if I can cut the pages to make slightly bigger pockets for the larger ephemera pieces but I'm thinking I may just leave them and try and make one because I'm pretty sure these have been heat sealed and I don't know how well they would take to being ripped open but for 60p well they weren't 60p they were 60p each plus a couple of quid postage but you know beggars and you know, splitting hairs and all that rubbish so so yeah I spent a, a, a fantastic afternoon playing with my ephemera and sorting it all out and putting it away and all that lot so yeah uh, I didn't wear any makeup we did the challenges this morning didn't we I don't know if you can see it can you see that circle on the back of my thumb I burnt my finger it really hurt and I did that just after I knocked over a cacti and caught it so I ended up with little tiny spines sticking on my fingers Ugh. I've not had any booze. I have had more than one can. I had a can this morning and a, lot, a drink. So I've had chips. Um, I did not craft. And I need to do it the about today. I'll do that in a sec as well. I haven't been out in the garden. Like that. So, I am feeling better. I've sort of potted around the house really all day, been doing some step in and that, and it's felt okay. I did have a twinge in my back down the road, um, but I sort of stood still and allowed it to pass without sort of trying to twist or anything like that. Um, so that's good. That's that's a good start. So if I have another good night or goodish night I will be online tomorrow night if I don't go live I will instead do one of these videos instead but I've got the thing down at the school in them so it might not be a very long one because I do the thing on the Wednesday mornings down at the school and um, all of that lot and I still all the things that I was supposed to do today did not get done because We've been mega, mega busy. Oh shit, the bins have got to go out. I'll do that in a sec. I've done the worktops, so I did that just now. I've just got to sweep and put the bins out. All right, I'll do that in a sec. Okay. Now we posted everything, didn't we? Did the chore tracker earlier on. Good, good. So I'm actually a day ahead of myself then. Cool. Am I have I done all that? Is that right? I'm doubting myself now. Right. November cover page, November monthly spread, October square tracker. Finished weekly. October chore tracker 
new weekly. Ah, awesome. Okay, that's good. No, no, that's fine. Yeah. So I am a day ahead of myself because I filled up first to the sixth. Cool. That's all right. I don't want to get too far ahead because then I'll run out of things to post at the end of the month. So we did not go down and clear the spare room. So that will get done another day, but I did drop his waterproofs off. Oh, and I know what else I did, which I have to write in. Oh no, I did that yesterday. Oh. Um, I've got form to take in. And we've got a uh, sort of the Harvest Festival forms as well. Haven't watched any. Uh, that boom you just heard. It's Guy Fawkes Night here in the UK. That means um, bonfires, fireworks, and a shit ton of terrified pets. Not my pets. My pets couldn't give a shit. My pets are all snoring their heads off, quite happy and content. The child just snoring his head off, quite happy and content. But there are pets all up and down the country whose owners are bitching on Facebook yet again about the fireworks and about how frightening they find it, which is, you know, it is tragic for them. And personally, I think fireworks should not be sold to the general public. It should be a licensed thing. But hey, what the fuck do I know? So I guess tonight's um, tonight's word is going to be fireworks. Daryl even went to sleep saying, I want to go and watch the fireworks. She's now dreaming. Yes, I managed to successfully knock over a cacti and catch it. Then 20 minutes later, after I'd finished pulling all the spines out of my hands, I was um, making a toasted sandwich in a sandwich toaster. And my finger literally made a split second contact with one of the hot plates. So that was uh, that was pleasant, not, and um, burnt my fingers, and then I went up to school, and um, I stopped quickly, briefly to say something to one of the other mums. When I turned around, Daryl had gone, and I couldn't find him anywhere. And I walked through the entire school grounds, and eventually found him like out in the car park. He'd gone on with one of his friends, and they were running about. The friend's parent never thought to say to him, "You should be waiting for your mum." So I was fucking livid. So of course when I found out, I like, Daryl, come here! And I'm standing right next to this girl's daughter of um she's the older sister of one of Daryl's classmates. And I went, Daryl! And this I saw her at the corner of my eye jump. I scared the living snot out of this poor girl. I felt so, so guilty. Her mum even texted me this evening, she went, You scared the life out of her. I said, like, Dude, I said, Oh god, I am so sorry. I said, Tell her, you know, I'm just it's all noise and nothing to be scared of. And I I was like, absolutely fucking horrified i didn't realize i'd actually scared her that much until her mum messaged me oh poor little thing you know and i was so apologetic in the end that her mum recorded her saying it's okay I, you know I, it's okay that you scared me i'm fine and her mum actually recorded her and said you know but do you know why sam shouted and she said yeah because you were scared because daryl had run off you know because she's obviously had this conversation with her mum but i was just, oh god i felt so 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 bad but you know there you go right remember remember the 5th of november gunfire treason and plot i think is the next line remember i learned that in school i'm gonna flip that up now see if i'm right Gunpowder, treason and plot. There you go. 
It was a nursery rhyme. Gunpowder plot. Uh, introduced early into the young minds of children throughout the United Kingdom. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder treason and plot. We see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Guy Fawkes, Guy, twas his intent to blow up King and Parliament. Three score barrels were laid below to prove old England's overthrow. By God's mercy, he was catched with a darkened lantern and burning match. So holler boys, holler boys, let the bells ring. Holler boys, holler boys, God save the king. But what shall we do with him? Burn him! Now we go. Things we teach our children. There you go. Can you hear them? That's the fireworks. That goes on like that till about half nine. And that would do it tonight, because today being the 5th of November, we had some last weekend and we'll have some more this weekend. Oh, it's pretty, don't get me wrong. It is, it is pretty to go and watch, but... Okay, gunpowder trees and plot. Why not? I don't celebrate it. I used to when I was a child. I used to go out and do the fireworks and all that lot. Don't bother nowadays. It's too fucking cold. It's too fucking noisy. There's far too many people. I can't do all that rubbish. And not in that, but, that you know, my kids have been quite content to always watch it out of the window. You know, I did take them once when, when they were quite young. Like, Callie was, what, seven, six or seven the first time I took her. And it's a late night. We did take Daryl a couple of years ago. And um, we bundled him all up in a pushchair with, you know, six million blankets and hats. And, you know, really wrapped him up. This was two years ago, I think it was. Come up in my Facebook memories. Went down because there was going to be this massive display down on the beach like there is every year. Oh, you know, this would be grand, this would be grand, this would be grand. You know, festivities start at six, we were told. So we got down there thinking, oh, fireworks be at seven, you know, because it's dark by fucking half past four, you know. No, nope. nine o'clock, they said. Nine o'clock was when the fireworks were going to start. It's like, you what? It's nine o'clock, so there are young children here, you know? And it was like, no, nine o'clock. No, I turned around to try, I said, bollocks, so we're going home. I said, I'm not staying down here until nine o'clock with a two-year-old to watch fucking fireworks. I said, it's too cold. I said, besides, he'd be asleep by then. And he was. It was that cold. Didn't know anything about it. So, yeah. So he's never actually... But he did ask me tonight, could we go? And I said, well, no, because it's too late. It's like, no, he's asleep. He's fast asleep. If I'd taken him, he would have gotten hyped up. And we would only just be coming home now. I would have had to get him a dress. You know, and all that. Like, it's just... I'll see how he is at the weekend. I might take him at the weekend. So, my jacket's rattling on a chat. So, yeah, so there we go. I'm going to leave that there. And, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. I will be back tomorrow, either with another Today in My Brew Journal or a live. It'll be one or the other. Um, I'm I'm gunning for a life at the moment, but we'll just have to see basically how I feel. It's it's probably going to be a last minute decision, to be perfectly honest with you. But I will chuck a thing up if I'm going to do it. The reminder thing will come up on YouTube for you guys to click, and I'll set an alarm to um, do it at about 5 p.m. UK time. So, new reminder, um, set live. Uh, I'll do it remind me on a day on Wednesday at 5 p.m. I might as well repeat that every Wednesday. There we go. Right, so that's in. That will remind me to set my life tomorrow. Okay. Right, brilliant. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. I've gabbled away at you for nearly half an hour. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. You know that I appreciate it. You do. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me comments and click the book and ring the bell and, 
you know, all those wonderful, fantastic things that I'm sure most of you have already done already. And if you haven't, why haven't you? Do it now. Go on. I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>